Today on Player Focus, we're taking a look at Kevin Durant, the 6'10 All-Star forward for the Brooklyn Nets. The Nets is leading 2-0 in the playoffs over the Bucks, and KD is right in the middle of it. But why has his premier rookie card, the 2007 Top Scrum PSA 10, tumbled by more than 50% despite his stellar play? Let's discuss. What's up YouTube, Car Boss here. We talk about everything cards, money, investing. Alright, let's go. Before we look at prices, let's dive into a short history about Kevin Durant. Drafted second by the Seattle Supersonics in 2007, which later became OKC the following season. He easily won the Rookie of the Year award and went on to lead OKC to four Western Conference Finals, including a trip to the NBA Finals in 2012, but falling short to LeBron James' Miami Heat. He joined Steph Curry and the Warriors in 2016, winning back-to-back -back championships before injuring his Achilles and sat out the entire shortened 2020 season after signing with Brooklyn. He played only 35 games this season, but still managed to post solid numbers before leading the Nets to the number 2 seed in the East. KD is flanked by fellow superstars Kyrie Irving and James Harden, and a trio of the favourites to come out of the East and perhaps to take the overall championship this season. His postseason stats so far up a notch from his regular season numbers, but why is his Premier Rookie class falling off a cliff at the start of the playoffs when the Nets are overall 6-1? So if you look at the 3 month chart on KD's 2007 Topps Chrome PSA 10 rookie card, his prices have fallen off to roughly about a third of his high of 12,000 in early March. We then start to question why the inverse correlation to his performance towards the end of regular season and now into the playoffs. Typically a card should continue to rise as the favourites for the chip starts to emerge. However, KD's card hasn't always been $12,000. If we dial the chart further back, he previously was already hovering around the 4,000 mark around the start of the pandemic in March 2020, where ironically at that time, Katie was sitting out nursing his injury. His return for the 2020-2021 season was all hyped up and it fueled his card prices peaking at the 12,000 mark this year. People started comparing Katie to LeBron's own 2003 PSA 10 Chrome rookie card, which easily breached the $20,000 mark and expected Katie to follow suit. But we're talking about two different players with two different plot lines to their careers. So soon enough, the support line for the KD rookie card couldn't sustain any further and his card's prices started to tumble down. And it wasn't just a base card, we see similar free falls in his refractor parallels, which at its peak were fetching around $56,000 and a recent copy that ended on auction just a day ago closed at $20,000. That's a little more than 60% of the value wiped out in a span of 3 months. When you translate that in terms of market cap, the Chrome Refractor lost a cumulative value of $8.6 million in 3 months. We could say that the whole card market is down at the moment, which is justifiable. But I'll pull up KD's rival Giannis Base Prism rookie cards for comparison. While Giannis Base Prism PSA 10 is also registering a downswing, about 47% in the last 3 months, but it's ironic to see that his drop isn't as dramatic as KD, despite a subpar performance in Game 2. My assessment is that KD's cards were hyperinflated starting from the end of last season, and the people were building up the narrative that he would come back and dominate. Durant's performance hasn't disappointed his critics, but his card prices were sizzling out of control way too early, and it's now taking the biggest hit in the overall market downswing. I can't help but shake my head especially on the high-end refractor. Flashy high-end stuff is cool, but the market demand shrinks as the price of the cards go further out reach. So when real-life commitments catches on, which forces you to cash out your investments at less than an ideal moment, it's the high-end stuff that takes the biggest punishment. I saw the writing on the wall end of last year, stayed away and avoided investing a single dollar into KD, and now I escape unscathed. Looking at the charts, somewhat less fortunate. So if you guys like this video and found it very useful, do like and subscribe for more content in the future. I will be putting up similar videos, so do watch out for that. Thanks and have a great day.